Hey everybody, it's me, Mary Z, back on the Voice Hacks channel. Today we are going to react to nine-year-old Harper doing harsh vocals, metal screams, covering the song Holy Roller by Spirit Box on America's Got Talent. Let's take a look. Shout out to Rode Microphones for these really dope, comfy headphones that I'm gonna use for today's reaction. How do you feel? Are you nervous? Very. We I don't think they're that. ready for this. Thank you. These judges are not ready. Holy roller sits in the garden we fled. Blood into wine, take my body instead. Holy roller sits in the garden we fled. Blood into wine, take my body instead. They're so confused. <laughs> oh my God, I just have to say the people covering their ears because it's metal music is just hysterical to me. This is amazing. That's a pretty good scream. I think it's it sounds like a false chord type of scream, which just to kind of be clear, if you guys don't know me, I'm a rock and metal vocal coach and vocalist and harsh vocalist. I make these sounds every day. I teach people to do these sounds for a living. This really sounds like what I would call a false chord scream. It is kind of confusing because vocal terminology, unfortunately, is not standardized. That is something that is tough with an art form like this. This is what, if you watch my channel and follow my definitions of distorted vocals, that I would call a false chord scream, which for the record is vocal cords open, so they're not touching and creating voiced pitches, but we're getting a lot of flapping in the vestibular folds or oscillating or air turbulence or whatever you want to call it uh, to create the majority of the distortion. That's pretty impressive for a nine-year-old. Let's keep listening and see if they let her keep going. So there when we got to the crown of God part, crown of God, you know, I think she switched to a fry scream without knowing it. I don't, I seriously doubt someone who's nine years old knows what type of harsh vocals are coming out. Most adults that do this don't actually know what's happening in here. We don't have a lot of tactile nerve endings. So unless you've learned from start to finish in lessons, you probably don't even know what's happening in here. It is kind of crazy, but with voice stuff, we can uh, abstractly access tones and movements, uh, sometimes the correct ones without even knowing it. These actually all sound like correct screams, which is a relief because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I do not teach minors. I don't teach anybody under 18. My entire job of coaching people to do this stuff is all adults. And there's a lot of reasons I don't. I would make an exception for someone like this because they've got a high profile right now. They're already out there. They're already kind of stuck. And, you know, so Harper, if you need a vocal coach, hit me up. But um, these actually do sound like quite safe phonations. So she really got lucky to stumble upon the correct thing. I really, really do not recommend super young people just try this because literally that's what they're doing. They're just trying it. Um, and sometimes you get lucky like this girl. But um, by the way, Courtney LaPlante also does fry and false chord in this song in different places. She does fry on this crown of God line. So I think that the singer just hearing it um, made it possible for her to kind of engage that sound. But these judges, I think the most funniest part for me is watching these judges because people who are not into metal have no idea. They are always blown away by this stuff. <laughs> and look at her playing like nothing. Shine to the left of me. Whoa. Wow, so they cut it off. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> so many goals. Goals. I don't know what to say. Okay. Hi, yes, me. <laughs> Jake, <laughs> what, what do you think? You're her dad. That's cute. I love they it. let the dad I'm come so up. proud. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. This was unexpected, I have to say. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Amazing. Well, we did say we like surprises. When did all this start? When I was free. It's like you free. have a monster inside. <laughs> have you ever seen a film called The Exorcist? All right, I'm just going to fast forward and see if she advances. Thank you. Should we vote? I'm going to give you a first yes. Yes. Thank you. Olivia. Wow. Yes. Thank you. Diamond. You've got three yeses. Thank you so much. Whoa. That is so cool they advanced her, even though they clearly did not understand what was going on. I do have to say that I don't think that the people casting the show or putting the people on stage, because this is like a casting process. And, you know, when you audition for one of these shows, there's a whole ton of things they don't show you and a whole series of audition levels they have to get through and they're kind of letting people through based on talent but also based on television reasons you know Americans who watch America's Got Talent typically are not that into metal on a mainstream format when I've done my metal idol reactions to stuff like this they're always from other countries usually people doing harsh vocals especially adults I think if she was an adult they won't let through it's I mean it might shock people but overall like it's going to be really hard to win a contest like this just screaming you know I don't know if you guys remember I think there was a couple young kids screaming before on another idol show it might have been this one or another one but this isn't the first time we've seen a harsh vocalist this is Harper by far is probably the best like kid screamer I've seen period so I think she's amazing She's actually making correct sounds. She did two different types of harsh vocals without knowing it. She started with false chord. When we got to the crown of God part, she switched to fry scream. And again, I don't think she's aware of that at all. I think she's just pushing her adrenaline into it, kind of mimicking some of Courtney's healthy sounds, the original vocalist, Courtney LaPlante, um, and giving it her all. So I give her a lot of kudos. There is no way that I would have been able to do anything on stage in front of this many people at nine years old, let alone harsh vocals. So you guys, when you're watching this stuff, I'm talking to the metal community here and the gatekeeper types and the real critical types. Just be kind. This person is nine years old they have a lot of feelings they are a real person and they're going to have to live with this video footage and this whole thing for the rest of their life so these are very good harsh vocals try to be kind to this person when you're watching uh, and just remember they're nine years old I have trouble getting adults to do it this well like I said I don't teach kids and I really really do not recommend that children try these sounds I find that most people who are not adults just don't have like the physical control to do it safely she got really really lucky and is happening to make safe sounds and I would make an exception for someone like Harper who's already out there who has like the pressure of being on stage I would help them try not to hurt themselves um, since they're already there but in general if you have kids I would say tell them to wait try to get them to wait till they're much much older to try harsh vocals you know um, because this is definitely exceptional it's kind of like being an exceptional athlete or some kind of prodigy you know you might see the one kid that can do it safely but for the most part this is totally not typical and, and not something I would recommend for most people people under 18. I always get a good laugh at when what I call normies, people outside the metal scene, uh, get a glimpse of this type of music. I mean, some of the people in the audience could even handle the riff of the song, which is extremely heavy. It was so hilarious. I think that's the most hilarious part of this thing is just kind of watching normal people freak out like to them they've never heard anything like this so if you are an adult and you want to learn how to do harsh vocals email me at voicehacks at gmail.com or check out any of the links below in the description i teach people on zoom all over the world how to do these crazy sounds follow me on instagram i have some quick lessons and tips and of course there's tutorials on the channel here Thank you guys so much. This was such a fun reaction to do with you. And kudos to Harper. Great job. Great talent. 
amazing confidence. I'm I'm almost envious of the confidence. Thanks everybody for coming by the Voice Hacks channel today. See you later.